who inspired you to do that, to become involved at grassroots level with mm. Indigenous art? Well, um, them, really. Um, Pedro, I had actually been working with at Alcaston Gallery. Um, so Alcaston Gallery has a long relationship with the Tiwi artists and Pedro Wanamiri, um, from a very young age, um, has always been a, a leader, a, a cultural leader um, of the Tiwi people. And Beverly had met Pedro when he was um, a teenager, really. And um, so he, he has exhibited with Alcaston Gallery, you know, throughout his career. So I had worked with him um, as a senior curator there and, um, and had got to know him. And so my exposure to and to, to many other art centres and, and remote communities. So my exposure to to the people, to the artists really inspired me to go and, and work um, in a remote location. That's um, a very <coughs> determined thing to do, a very dedicated thing to do. I mean what, did you have cultural influences in your background? How did you become involved in this form of art? Um, yeah, it's interesting. It's not, not so directly, not so... But, but when you look back, you, you can sort of... Um, you see the, the dots, you start to see the patterns. But... Um, appropriate language, I might say. <laughs> <laughs> um, I... I... Um, when I went to Melville Island, you know, having through my university, I did not really have a lot of exposure to Indigenous art. Um, in, in fact, I wrote my thesis on the erotics of religious painting, so <laughs> yeah, it's completely, completely unrelated. One would think, but in actual fact, a lot of Indigenous art, um, at, at the, you know, at its core level, is about those essential things in life. You know, yeah. it is about sex, it's about relationships, it's about appropriate, um, you know, um, kinship systems and morality tales, you know, it, a, a, a history of sort of um, storytelling and, and cultural law that really guide how one should be living and how one should be conducting themselves and, and the the, you know, the, the crux of a community, basically, which is really what um, a lot of art history is about as well, a lot of um, religious art is um, morality tales. So in that sense, it's quite interesting. Um, but then there was a weird coincidence. So, so I go up to Melville Island and I work at Gillamara Art Centre, which is where I was based, and on Bathurst Island, um, there was a couple of guys in the community that knew me because they went to school with me. Oh. So I, I went to boarding school in Hamilton, of oh, all joking? places. No, I went to Monobay. And there were a couple of Tiwi guys from Bathurst Island who went to Monobay College. So Monobay College actually had a relationship through, um, through the, the Catholic Church and the, the missions there. And um, they had a relationship with... Uh, Bathurst Island and, and had you know students traveling down to um, be educated in freezing cold Hamilton so that would have been a real big shock but <laughs> so there was interesting ties um, that you know I didn't sort of recognize until later but most definitely it was um, being immersed in indigenous art at Hellcaston Gallery that was the trigger. Mm.